Hi, this is Carlos Hiron Paez of Football Talk Radio, our radio station via internet. I'm making this video to talk about Major League Soccer here in America. I had the opportunity to watch a full game this afternoon. It was, uh, it was incredible. Uh, and uh, so if we were to go back to uh, get a little bit of history of when Major League uh, Soccer was founded, it was in 1993. This is a year before the World Cup that took place here in this country, the United States. That was in 1994. Now, the league started two years after. That was in 1996 when they had the first season of uh, Major League Soccer. Well, from 1996 up until today, uh, Major League Soccer has changed dramatically. I mean, so big that, that you know, that now uh, every club, every club slash franchise that, that, um, that is being purchased uh, by companies, by uh, investors. Uh, they, uh, one of the conditions that Major League Soccer is asking to all these uh, investors is to build their own stadium. So we have seen uh, quite a few stadiums uh, that are being built or that they already uh, are, uh, were built and, and, and they are playing right now. So it is great to see that this league is, uh, is, is changing. And one of the facts that I believe that this is changing, it was because I had the opportunity to watch uh, Atlanta uh, United Football Club today. Uh, and they played against Chicago Fire. Uh, and to see that uh, it is breaking uh, the rules, so to speak, because uh, I saw a lot of youngsters, a lot of young players, uh, you know, American players as well as foreigners. And that's one of the biggest changes that I see with Major League Soccer. When before, it was started with, uh, by bringing uh, older superstars, uh, soccer players to come to this, to this league and to find retirement. And that was, uh, I believe, the first uh, title to, to this uh, type of players, to the, these great stars were the uh, franchise uh, name of it. So it was called uh, a franchise player. Uh, David Beckham was one of them, was the first one, as a matter of fact. Uh, then it was, now it's called the uh, designated player, where it has to do with uh, the money and the salaries that they make, where there is a cap. And these are the only players that can go outside of that cap, uh, which means that they can make more money. But it was so, uh, it was so great to see uh, this club, uh, which is being coached by uh, Gerardo Martino uh, from Argentina. This is the uh, ex-head uh, uh, coach of the national team from Argentina and also for uh, football club Barcelona. So to see this, uh, this game this afternoon was, uh, was, was amazing. To see that, you know, that the, uh, the, the speed of play was presented there uh, by Atlanta. And now this is a, a brand new franchise. This is their first season. So far, they have played three games. They scored 11 goals. So, uh, and there are players, if you were to go uh, to their website, uh, under Major League Soccer website, you will find that the ages of this, they have quite a few players that are between the ages of uh, 18 to 23 to 25. And, and some of these players are, are you know, are, especially the foreigners, uh, there is a Venezuelan striker, uh, Martinez, I believe is his last name. Yeah. And so uh, just to see them play, it was great to see that. Uh, so, you know, uh, great to be watching Major League Soccer. Uh, we hope that, you know, that they can keep up, keep, keep up the, this, uh, this type of player, this type of players. Uh, and also to allow the American players, the youngsters, you know, not to wait until they are 23, 24, especially if, uh, if we are intending, if we're trying to compete at the international level. You know, players uh, here in this country are turning pro at the age of 23, 24. So uh, when in some other countries, uh, you know, like South America, uh, including Europe, I mean, they were, you know, they're turning uh, 17 and they're already pro. So... It was great uh, once again to watch a game uh, of Major League Soccer. That it was not uh, just uh, you know two passes to the side and one kick to to chase the ball up in front. It was good to see uh, a different style of soccer. So 
uh, I want to encourage or whoever you know is watching us uh, to uh, yeah, let's follow Major League Soccer uh, because they're playing good stuff, man. And <laughs> and uh, uh, and to see that uh, you know, and and the the venues are so amazing too. Uh, here in in LA, we have the Stub Hut Center that's in in the city of Cons- Carson, and there is another uh, uh, franchise or another club that's coming by uh, next season, 2018, I believe, and that is Los Angeles Football Club, which is building their own stadium right next to the Coliseum. This is where the uh, sports arena used to be. Now they're building the Los Angeles Football Club Stadium. So it's gonna be awesome. So it's growing, uh, it's growing in uh, attendance. You know, a lot of people are, are uh, going to watch games. Uh, as a matter of fact, this coming summer, we have the Clásico coming uh, Real Madrid against Barcelona in, to be played in Mi- Miami. And this is going to be during the summer. Uh, so it is great. Uh, soccer is good in America. Uh, hopefully, you know, they start looking uh, also to start developing, you know, the, the youngsters in their cities, you know, like uh, Seattle, Seattle Sounders, uh, all these uh, clubs that they have, uh, they have uh, come out to become the champions and the newly champions, uh, the Seattle Sounders. Uh, they have a great academy. So uh, let's hope that, you know, that they can develop and they can bring players that we need them, you know, for this country to be represented internationally and to have a great uh, national team so they can go to World Cups, okay? So this is Carlos Hiron Paez from Football Talk Radio. Remember, you can uh, follow us on our uh, social media. We are in uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And also uh, visit our website, 